Hi guys, I'm back again uh, with another question about UVM component phases. It is quite common to ask about the build phase and the run phase. However, um, sometimes the interior wants to mix it up a little bit and would ask about um, <clears throat> uh, one of the other phases, um, like the end of elaboration phase. Typically, variations of these questions can be asked, like what happens in the end of the elab phase, or explain the end of uh, elaboration phase of a UVM component. So what exactly is <clears throat> the end of elaboration phase? End of elaboration phase, again, is a non-time-consuming method. Um, that is why, like the build function, it is also a function. Uh, this is the last chance before simulation starts to update configurations, um, connections, and other such tasks. Unlike the build phase, um, this phase, like most other phase, uh, most other phases executes in a bottom-up manner through the uh, test bench hierarchy of the components. Uh, this phase essentially gets executed once build and connect phases are done and they essentially drop their objections. And the main prereq um, to start this phase is all the test bench components and subcomponents are properly instantiated and connected. So typically what can be updated in this phase? That's another follow-up question that could be asked. The main thing is um, the the config, the configurations essentially can be updated. The the test bench topology as well as the structure, and of course um, uh, you could update the final connections um, uh, between components. The main thing is if you can remember this flow diagram, you should be able to answer any interview question on this particular phase. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next video.